Hi everybody, tasting day number 36 here at Fast Home Brew. Uh, nothing special about this one, but I think it's a pretty good one. So let's see how we go here. Starting off with what looks like the uh, Christmas beer. Yes, I'm watching the cricket, of course. So this is my Christmas beer, um, which I brewed just before Christmas and was ready for the new year, which is why this is the Sydney test, not the Boxing Day test, but whatever, whatever. So in this beer, I added uh cinnamon and nutmeg i think and i got it right i got just the right amount now in the video i think i showed myself adding it once and i can't remember exactly how much and then i later went back and oh looks like i've changed mode for christmas um i later went back and lawnmower added some more <laughs> like i doubled what i put in the first time with the tea but yeah it worked out really well now it is not the right beer for summer so as far as experiment goes it is actually pretty good i would say the experiment was a success uh the beer itself it's all right uh but no not an australian summer beer the amber hour yeah cheers to you christmas anyway so that was that one okay this next one now is the follow-up to my english bitters which i failed at last time this is my wheat beer which i made from a cooper's kit and used grains instead of uh malt extract to finish it off so it's sort of like a mini mash uh kit beer kind of and there i am ruining it with sunlight but anyway it's a nice cloudy looking very nice looking wheat beer in my giant wheat beer glass which i don't use all that often and hey this one's pretty good too i reckon <coughs> so um yeah basically instead of using uh 500 grams or a kilo or whatever of um of light malt extracts oh and it smells like a wheat beer should smell I instead used, I think, 1.8 kilos of grains that I mashed in the oven, perhaps. So, you know, it wasn't too hard to do. And it is a million times better than than a regular kit beer would be. It just, it doesn't have that kit flavor to it. I reckon I'll go back and do the English bitter again because, um, yeah, really happy with this. So that one gets two thumbs up. Again, uh, another experiment that is a winner. Isn't that right, Max? That's a good time. Okay, number, ah, yes, the Sierra Nevada clone. Now, um, what do I say about this one? There's a quote from the castle, and I can't remember what it is. It's like something about making flowers, making fake flowers. you got to make them real enough so that they look real, but fake enough so that you know that they're not, or something like that. That sums up this beer. It's real enough that it tastes like a Sierra Nevada pale, but it, it also doesn't taste like a Sierra Nevada Power. You know, it's not a Sierra Nevada Power. But if you... So having them side by side here, the Sierra Nevada just... Um, well, it's, it's better. Uh, mine tastes a little bit stale, maybe. I, I must have got some oxygen in there by mistake. doesn't have quite sort of the fresh zing that the other one does and that my beers normally do have. So I don't know. Maybe it's a little flat on the carbonation. Looks like, by comparison, it is. Color's slightly different and it's cloudier too. That's just cloudier because it's my home brew and i don't try to clear these things at all so yeah um uh what was i gonna say but if i have this one by itself it's like hey that's a really nice beer so not a sierra nevada clone but good in its own right but also not as good but anyway what are we giving this one one thumb one thumb up for my clone i'll give that a clone rating of one thumb up i'll give it a a, a beer rating of um you know, 1.5 thumbs or out of two. <laughs> okay, that's that one. Now, this one is my XPA. And this was the second XPA I did. And I love the first one so much that I basically did almost the same. But this one had uh, lemon drop and galaxy hops in it, I think. And yeah, it tastes pretty good. It's In fact, it tastes freaking amazing. And look, you can see I'm getting all excited there. Uh, I had another one of these last night. I don't know when it was bottled, but it's starting to get quite old now. And it's got sort of a real smoothness to it. And it's just delicious. So uh, I reckon there's some... Jonah's giving me a high five. That's how good it is. I reckon there's some Pilsner malt in there. Very little crystal. So um, it's it's quite light bodied, but it's still... There's a, enough malt in there to just balance everything out nicely. And it is just a winner. If there was a competition at the moment, I would definitely enter that, but there's not. So instead, we're just going to have to distract ourselves with something else. But 
Yeah, this one's getting two thumbs and a foot. This is the third best beer I've ever made, I reckon, after my original Galactopa uh, and last year's Strayout. All right, finally, number five. Uh, the Mercenary uh, Pale Ale from the All In Brewing Company. So this one was another clone, but this one I made from a fresh work kit, which means it's basically cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and looks like the colour's slightly different on those two. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Can't quite tell. But uh, close enough. And the last time I did one of these, it basically tastes exactly the same, but not quite as hoppy. So this time, instead of following the recommendation of just a 50 gram dry hop, which is, what, 2.5 grams per litre, I bumped it up to 80, which is 4 grams per litre, because it's only a small 20 litre batch. And, yeah, I would say I got the aroma exactly the same. Something about it, though, oh, here I am checking the aroma, is just different. And it's, you know, they, they taste the same, but there's something I can't quite put my finger on that makes it a little bit different. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe something in the brewing process went up, or maybe that bottle. Oh, here we go. Getting a, a second opinion from Mrs. Fast Homebrew. She doesn't know which one's which, and I've asked her just to tell me which one she likes the better. She says they're the same. But her favourite was that one. She thinks, oh, she thinks that's the real one, but that's the real one. And she liked my one better. So she said, well, why don't you give me one? And so she's gone back inside to drink some beer of her own. So there we go. That's um, that's the verdict on that one. Basically exactly the same, as you would expect with a fresh work kit. Something slightly different, but hey, it's a good beer. It's not my favourite American Pale Ale of all time. Um, but, you know, it's a good solid, good solid APA. So there you go. Two thumbs up for the original beer. Mine gets two thumbs up. That's That's got to be a record number of thumbs and feet in this video. Somebody go back and check and see if I've ever done a tasting video with a higher average rating than this one. Anyway, that's it for Taste Today number 36. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And be safe. And bye.